respects to Jonathan Evans. We pray today for the consolation of the Spirit to be with us. We pray that the comfort of God's Holy Spirit will be present here today to comfort the family, to come and strengthen them. We thank you for his life and what he has meant to so many that are here this morning. We pray that you will journey with us now through this process. We pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit will be present during this proceedings and that you would come and comfort this family, envelop yourself around them. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. 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 We're going to have to move speedily. For those who did not get an opportunity to view, uh, please come now uh, and view. We urge you, uh, as customary in some of our culture, Please don't touch the body. Please don't kiss and that kind of stuff. Take a moment to view for those who have not viewed so that we can proceed uh, with today's program. Can you please, please come, those that have not had an opportunity? The rest, you may be seated. Is there anyone that did not get an opportunity? You may come now. Come in. For well, everybody view. God bless you. We're going to sing a few songs. I don't know if it's customary for us to stand. Can we stand, those that can? Uh, please stand with us as we sing a few songs. The family can remain seated. Thank you. The family can remain seated. The rest of us can stand. If you know some of the songs, please sing along. Uh, 
God bless you.
Good morning. You may be seated. Good morning, all. I want to greet you in this wonderful name of Jesus Christ. This morning, in the last that we can do for Jonathan to say farewell to him. Uh, let me introduce myself. I am uh, Yuri Laru, uh, Nikki's uh, uncle, and I will be do the program master for you today. With any ado, let us start with an open prayer by Yuri Bors to do the open prayer. Ook een volgende op die program, want ons daar reeds nou al die prijs en woordstuk gehoor sing. So ons sal een middag nou sommer volgende vraag vir Theo Potgieter om van Agri om sy gedeelte te kom doen, asjeblief. Good morning everyone, my name's, my name's Theo Potgieter and I'm here to represent AFCRI. Uh, it's, it's with heavy hearts and profound sadness that we come together today to remember and honour our dear friend and colleague Jonathan. His sudden departure has left a void in our lives and seems inadequate to express the depth of our loss. Jonathan was not just a colleague, he was a friend and he was a pillar of strength, a devoted husband to Nikki and a loving father to the boys. His legacy will forever live on in our hearts and in the memories we cherish. I had the privilege of knowing Jonathan from the early years when he joined AFCRI as an external consultant and life agent. Together we shared moments of triumphs and challenges. I think there were more triumphs than challenges. 
I recall a time when I had to slightly reprimand Jonathan for dancing with farmers' wives at a full Boerendag. <laughs> Yet, it was all in good spirit and a testament of Jonathan's attitude and nature and ability to connect with people on a profound level. A pivotal moment in Jonathan's life came during a discussion in one of our meeting rooms where a decision was made about the future of Jonathan with an AFGRI. Fortunately, we made the correct decision, and upon his return from a reflective holiday, he embodied the essence of a second chance in life and demonstrates how a person can turn his life around. Jonathan emerged as a transformed individual under the mentorship of Krista in organizational health and Rian, his mentor. Jonathan underwent a spiritual rebirth, embracing Christianity and dedicating himself to personal growth. His journey with Krista <clears throat> not only equipped him with invaluable skills, but also allowed him to touch the lives of many, earning the respect and admiration he so rightfully deserved. Upon rejoining the insurance team as the health manager, Jonathan approached his role with unwavering passion, particularly in managing the group's medical aid and being a mentor to Bonolo. He had an initiative ability for empathy with others and always strove to meet everyone's needs. There were instances when I observed him facing challenges, but his resilience shone through. Whenever Jonathan encouraged difficulties, I encouraged him to take a step back, address the situation head on, and he always returned stronger and more compassionate. Jonathan was not only a colleague, he was a confident, my right hand man. Whenever I needed assistance or support, Jonathan was there without hesitation. His willingness to lend a hand extended far beyond our professional realm, and he selflessly supported the entire AFKI community with his strength and kindness. Jonathan, your presence will be surely missed, but your spirit will continue to inspire us. Today, as we gather to celebrate your life, let us remember the laughter you brought, the wisdom you shared, and the profound impact you had on all who knew you. Rest in peace, dear friend. You will forever hold a special place in our hearts. The deepest sympathies. I want to say thank you, Theo, for that lovely tribute because sometimes you don't really know what's going at work, but for that little bit of info that you share with us, we really appreciate it. Our next speaker. It's actually a tribute from the brothers, Paul and Josh, all up to you. Hi, 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 hi. Good morning. And, uh, it's a cold drop. Um, let me just um, quickly. Yeah, like I say, uh, no. Uh, it took me, yes, I wouldn't say by surprise. I, I never expected to even be at Johnson's funeral. I thought he's the one that's going to be at mine. Uh, you know, uh, after he reformed his life and, and actually becoming a, a role model of me and, and Joshua, uh, yeah. I think that, uh, yeah, um, the reality of it is, it's, it's, like I said, it hasn't sunk in. Um, but one thing that I can say uh, is the following. Uh, uh, a million words would not bring you back. I know because I've tried. Neither would a million tears. I know because I've cried. So, uh, yeah, uh, rest in peace. And 
يا حكينا في صور أربعة أربعة صور Thank you everyone. Um, family and friends. I'm the youngest of of the three, and um. We, Jonathan and I had a, had a huge um, age gap. Um, but he always treated me with respect and he always carried me and taught me how to lead life correctly. What, what his downfall, with, with all his, his, his flaws, he still had, had the courage to, to overcome and to, and to show us the way. And I thank I thank the Lord for 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 letting him, him come out of come out of that that situation he was in. At the end of the day, we are all human, and we all have that about us. There's good with bad, bad with good. But um, it was quite sudden, and uh, Jonathan would not have wanted us to to mourn, but to celebrate his life. He's always had a great heart, always. And today he has gone to, to see his father. He's been, he's going to be with our father. They were, our father is no longer with us, but they are together today. Yeah. And, I just think back at, at every every occasion, and Jonathan was always that guy to ask, do you need a suit, do you need shoes, do you want something to make you look dapper, because that was his way to go into the world looking good at all times. To Nikki and the boys, we're always with you. Mommy. I want to thank you for raising such a great man. You, we all have choices in life, but principles was installed in him. And today he lays there, and we should dignify and rejoice and send him off with peace. Thank you. Thank you, Paul Joss, for those wonderful words. So we move on to the next speaker. And uh, she has two names on here, Krista and Rian Devet will be next up. I actually prepared a, an amazing speech, beautiful words, but I am convinced <clears throat> that I need to speak out of my heart. Nikki, Chono loved you so much, and his sons, you were everything to him. I think the three T's sitting in front, Tristan, Tariq, and Tyrone, uh, you will be the three T's that will do what Jonathan intended in his life, is transform tomorrow together. And may you as three boys know what your dad intended for you is to see a story of a man that by the grace of God made a choice to stand up. He used his story to, to bring many young men like you to see the light. And may you three make choices that honor him. He so loved you, Nikki. We had many discussions, myself and Jonathan, and it was deep discussions. He never ever in one discussion didn't answer the phone when you called. He loved you. You were his Nikki. Um, there were times that we had a discussion and he told me you were wrong. Um, and I could have told him, Jono, if you can look at life through the lenses of God, you will know you were wrong. And he always said, 
There's no way that I will took his part. I will always took Mickey's part. But when Jonathan started working with me in 2018, we had a very unconventional interview. I met him in the passage and I looked at him and there was something in his eyes that I knew. This is the man that God has chosen. We had such an unconventional interview. In our interview, I said to him, I don't, know, I, I don't want to know what you can do. I want to know your story. Jonathan shared his story with me of a man that knew what it is to have fame. He played rugby for Turks and for the Blue Bulls, um, and he had a life of fame. And then life had his temptations, and Jonathan fell very, very hard. His story where he got involved in drugs and so many things that I today, when I look at it, I know it was just everything that wanted to steal his true identity. But it is, isn't it amazing that by God's grace, Jonathan at a day looked at himself and he said, Jonathan, you are more than what you became. From a place of nothing, he stood up and he went and he asked for help. Theo, Elmin, Ross, there were so many people. No one of us are standing here today and say we can take honor and pride for what Jonathan did. He made the choice. And may we, as we are comforted by a life, may we know your life will be determined by the choices you make. In humility, no matter where you are, always go and ask for help because there will be people that will reach out to you and say, Come here, I want to help you. Jonathan daily chose the right road. I, be, I can be a witness to tell you that it's never been easy to him. There were times that I phoned him over weekends and said, where are you? Whenever mommy, when he went to visit you in Cape Town, I think I phoned Jonathan Rian as well. We phoned him often. We said, we're just checking in. Are you sure you're okay? So, um, Jonathan made a choice every day, and there were times that he fell. But an amazing story is he stood up again. And that's what we will remember of him. I remember when Jonathan started working with me, um, I said to him, Jono, you've got a lot of qualifications. You're a, you know, you've, you've got some credentials in your, in, in your um, CV, but when you work with me, I'm going to enter you into the School of Character Development. And Jonathan went through that in detail. He allowed me in his heart. He allowed me in his head. Myself and Jonathan had many, many, many discussions. And I've witnessed in front of my eyes a transformed life. I could see how the light just went open for him. He attended. He was literally like a sponge. And I think the one thing I will remember about Jonathan is his humility to learn from anybody. He always had a notepad. Whenever we had a discussion, Jonathan made hundreds of notes. And then he would take a video recording of the notes and he would say, do I understand you correctly? I so trusted him. I, it was easy for me to give the mic to Jono because his humility said I'm here to learn. So I could see how Jonathan developed in leadership. And for three years, an amazing transformation took place in his life. And then three years ago, I said to him, Jono, your dad has been in full-time ministry, and I feel there's a calling on your life that you need to be trained in ministry. He enrolled in a two years a ministry training process, and he attended once a week. He went to Doxadeo, and he was trained to be a minister. It is in that time that Jonathan really saw his identity. He knew that he knew that he was a son of God. And that was his identity. He was never uncertain of that. It was amazing to witness it. And then as Jonathan grew, he also attended last year the, the Life Work Leadership where he attended a year-long process with businessmen. And Wagner, I see you sitting here. Um, people that, that in the business world started mentoring and, and walking with Jonathan on the road of Jonathan understand the calling of bringing kingdom into our business world. 
Jonathan just started growing and it was wonderful. People like Wagner, he gave them the opportunity to say, you are men who are fathers, please teach me to be a husband to my wife and a father to my sons. It was wonderful to witness Jonathan's life. Rian coached him and I'm going to give Rian some time to just for a moment speak about him. The last thing that I want to say, I have witnessed, I have witnessed the life of a young man who took a chance. He, he, cho he made a choice every day and he was never proud to ask for help. For all of you that are sitting here, jo um, you know, you were his brother. He loved you, he really loved you like a brother. It was wonderful to go out for lunch the two, with the two of you. <laughs> they always challenged me and one thing that I do know is Jono loved the biggest steak in a restaurant. <laughs> he could eat meat. <laughs> so there's many things I can say. I've got, a, I've got a, a length of discussions that I can have about him. Today I just want to say to everybody, yesterday for us, Jesus Christ died on a cross. And when he died, he, he shouted out and he said, it is finished. And because Jesus died, we can live. And we know that Jesus died and he rose again. And we know that the day when Jonathan's last breath on this earth were breathed out, he immediately breathed in the new life in the presence of his father, of his heavenly father. And we don't know why, but we will remember the song when we came in, It Is Well With Our Soul. And I know the Lord will carry you guys, and, and, and I know you will remember a good story of his life. Don't let brokenness send you into a life that you are not supposed to go. Follow in the footsteps of your dad that made right choices. The last thing that I want to say is, Jono, I will miss you when my hair fell flat, because when I stress, my hair fell, and Jonathan always said to me, Mark bikie jou haare op. En dan sal hy in my kantoor inkom vir my sê, jy kort bikie lipstuf hier. Ek gaan vir John nou mis, hy het onder my hart ingeklim, hy was my sien, ek was vir hom lief, soos, soos ek nog nooit in my leven vir een sien lief was nie. Ek gaan om Jenny en lief verskrikkelijk mis. Maar Nikki, hy kom maar in sy plek om sit, en ek weet as mense soos Ino en baie van julle wat hier sit, wat om sy legacy gaan voortleef, wat ek salute vandag, een wonderlijke man. Kan ons opstaan en vir Jonathan een hande klap geen, vir hom sê, well done, good and faithful servant. That which God has entrusted to you, you have lived an amazing love, life. We honor him. Thank you. I think the only words that I can say is um, when Jono understands something, he used to say, wow, wow, wow. And that is something that we, I want to remind you of, is that let's keep on learning and keep our eyes on our true north. That is what Jonathan learned in 2020. What was his true north? His desires to have a home and to grow financially, grow where he, are, uh, where he was. And let's, in every moment, not forget to say, wow, yeah. because wow. it keeps us humble. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Krista Thank you. Thank you, and Brian, for that lovely picture that you have put in our minds with regards to Jonathan, what he meant to you. With no further ado, we will ask for Kevin Mayer to do the obituary. Kevin.
Jammer, met elke, elke gedeelte in vandaagse leven, ook in die leven, het is niet door nodig en soos, ons is niet door opmaak om in te kan kom. Vanochtend het ik samen gedank, ek, ek moet die toespraak, ek moet die gedeelte doen, om om hout te brengen aan Jonathan. Ek denk, hoe kan ik het doen? En ek ek gesit en gedink, en het vir my gesê, ek het vir my gesê, nie waar nie, is gaan het nie eens kreeg. Ek het gebid, ek het saam weer gaan bid, en Gelaasheers, ek doe ongelooflik, Gelaasheers 5, 22, 23, toch moet my mind. En die hele ochend, tot nou toe, is wat ek heel tyd net gehoor het, Gelaasheers 5, 22 en 23. As ons kan sê, kan ons het by die huis lees. En persoonlijk, vir my persoonlijk, ek het ook gevoel soos die vrou, die voorgevoel het, ek het saam as iets neergeskryf, ek wil iets sê, maar ek kan nie meer as dit sê. Uh, my naam is Kevin, my van is Meijer, Nikki, kinders, maak die God, die ware God, wat vertroosting bied, veel vertroosting bied, oprechte vertroosting, en mag dit in alle tye vreugde vol, vreugde in die leven bring. En dis wat Oots Hondring gewees, hy was vreugde vol gewees, vanuit Gelaasheers 5, 22 en 23 aangeleer, en het toegepas, en het uitgeleef. En dis ook om ons al vandag hier as getuies het, weens die manier hoe jy dinge aangeleer het en toegepas het en allemaal nie het toegepas nie, maar het uitgedeel het. En ons kom ons sit en ons bring hout aan hom. Maar ons weet die meester het die meeste werk gedoen. Sonder uh, opbouw het ek maar my gedeelte doen en lees. Ik zal die tablet so'n bykie nader over my oos, is jy so goedie? Ek my bril is by jy so vergeet. <laughs> Dankie. Jonathan Martin Evans. Age 41, passed away on the 23rd of March, 2024. O as beloved, was, was, was a beloved father, husband, son, brother, and friend will be deeply missed by all of whom he, you, him, he knew and you knew. John was born on the 15th of June 1982 in Port Elizabeth and spent his youth, his youth days in Pretoria and he went to attend PS4 primary, PS4 primary in Auckland in Easterest and proceed on to Mother and High. Thereafter, he continued, to, he continued his education at the, at, the, at the University of Pretoria. Jonathan progressed in his career and spent the last few years of his career as a manager in the healthcare at every Greek group holdings. Throughout his career, he was known as a hard worker, dedicate, dedication and for, and for helping others. But more than anything, Jonathan was devoted father. He loved, he loved spending time with his children, sharing stories, playing, playing games, watching their favorite TV shows. He was always there to to guide them, to support them, and to encourage them, no, no matter what, <coughs> no matter what the challenge was. Well, in his free time, Jonathan was also into hastic, fanatic, jump, fanatic. We all know that, they like to jump. And always eager to share his knowledge and enthusiasm with other people. Jonathan played rugby for Turkish, and in his youth, for the Golden Lions youth. Well, Jonathan is survived by his loving wife, Melonique, his three children, Tariq, Tristan, 
and Tyrone, his mother Anne, stepfather Desmond Paul, and his, his two brothers Paul and Joshua. And I thank you. Uh, we're coming near to the end of the program. Now we will just ask for Anita Naru come to the boat of thanks, please. I want to greet this morning our bishop present, every spiritual leader that's present this morning, and everyone present that can hear my voice in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Firstly, I was asked by Mel and Nick and the family to do the vote of thanks, and I want to say thank you for this opportunity to do this vote of thanks. Thanks on behalf of you. I firstly, we firstly, as a family, want to thank our Heavenly Father for the 41 years that of life that he has given Jonathan. We want to thank Ma Anne for raising such a beautiful young um, son, especially as the solid foundation that you have laid. We also want to thank the ER24 uh, who helped and assist um, last Saturday morning well, with the sudden passing of Jonathan. The family also want to extend a very, very thank you. We know thank you is a very small word, but when it comes from the heart, it has such a big um, meaning. So we really want to thank the following people for Krista and Rianne David, Theo and Helmin Pothitter, uh, Megan and Sean, Kirsty and Manny, Imelda and Lloyd, Abigail and Funi, as well as Auntie Gina, for their help and their assistance, for being there for them and helping them, especially during this week. They really, really appreciate that. We also want to thank um, the funeral undertakers, FPO Funeral, for their, their sterling job and um, what their services rendered up till today, as well as the services rendered after this service today. Also, a big thank you to the Domini, as well as the church council of the church, for the use of the church today for the funeral service. The family also want to extend a very uh, um, thank you, we want to say thank you to everyone for their calls, their WhatsApp messages, and their words of comfort during the week. We also want to thank the Bishop Wayne for uh, availing yourself, Bishop. We know that your schedule is very tight during this time, but availing yourself to do the service today and we know that God has laid a message on your heart. And we thank God for your, and we also pray that, that God will bless your ministry. Um, then we also want to say thank you to the worship team for leading the worship today and the music today. May God also bless your ministry. And then for everyone who touches, uh, who, touch, who have touches uh, Jonathan's life in the many different ways, we would really want to say thank you the, uh, for you. We also want to say thank you for all the different donations um, that we have received. And I think last but not least, we want to say thank you to Agri um, Group Holdings, that is where Jonathan has, um, was working 
for the last um, few um, five, six years. Thank you for accepting Jonathan and for the beautiful relationship that you have built over this years. May God also bless you. If I have left anyone out, if I did not mention your name, know that the family really do appreciate. Thank you for all for also being here and just being here. We know that Jonathan have touched your life, and thank you for that. May God bless us and, and bless the service as well, Father. Thank you so much. Uh, before we go to hand over to Bishop Wayne to do his part, uh, we will first look at the slideshow. messages written by the boys. My father was a great and good man. He took me in when I was seven years old and ever since then he has done everything to provide for me, my brothers and my mother. He taught me respect and manners. Without him I don't know what type of a person I would be. I'm glad he came into my life at an early age and shaped me into the man I am today. I wish I could have done more while he was still with us, though he's still with us in our hearts and in everything he taught us. I just wish I could have made him prouder. I remember after my mother got married to my father, I asked her, can I call him daddy? Can I call him daddy? And my mother said, go and ask him. And he said, yes. And I, he has been daddy ever since then and he will always be my daddy. It's sad that we lost him so soon, but I think he loved his life to its best. I'm just happy to have him as a positive role model in my life. At the times when we would talk, I would be so lost because he was really smart and he would use his words when, <laughs> when I would understand nothing, but I would just listen and nod like I understand. There's nothing I would do to have those moments back again, just to listen to all those big words and understand nothing but just to hear his voice. It's like that song of Luther Vandross, how did love, love, love to dance with my father again. May God bless his soul and my rest in peace. Love always, Tariq. Let me start by saying that my dad was an amazing father to me and my brothers and the best husband, my mother, my mom, then I want to thank God for blessing me with such an amazing father. He always made sure there was a smile on our faces, no matter what, and for that I'll always and forever be grateful and thankful. He was and is the best, and I'll always look up to him, and he always prioritized me, my hobbies going out of his way to take me to soccer, Tyrone. to my father. Thank you for being in my life and showing me what it really means to be an Evans and to be loved. You showed me no matter what I'm going through, I should stay positive, humble and disciplined with a smile on my face the same way you did. You were my father, my idol, my hero. God really blessed me with the best. I will forever be grateful for your life and I'm going to miss you always, giving me advice on how to better myself and how to be the best version of myself. You saw potential in me when I didn't. I'm going to miss seeing you on the sidelines of my games. You were my biggest supporter and will always be. I'm grateful for everything you taught me. I will carry it out with me for the rest of my life. You were loved by many 
you might you made an impact in so many people's lives and I'm going to miss hearing Tracy Boy. Love Tristan. Thank you for that. We hand over to Bishop. Well, a gracious morning to everyone here today. Uh, thank you for taking the time to come and celebrate this morning Jonathan's life. Um, we will try and do justice in terms of who he was and what he meant to so many that are here today. Uh, we're just struggling to get the slideshow going. So we'll continue with uh, what is planned on the program uh, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, give credence to a life well lived. Would you do me a favor? this morning to uh, greet my aunt and Uncle Desmond. May the Lord strengthen you during this difficult time. Uh, the brothers, I uh, can only visit also fun Paul and Josh. Uh, uh, may the Lord strengthen you. To Nikki and the boys, uh, may the Lord be with you. He let us moi name Triple T. Tyrone, Tyreek, and Tristan. Uh, maybe the pastor must tell you that I know it's not easy, but God has a way of keeping you. Uh, I was one year, six months old when my dad was killed. Uh, they cut my dad in pieces. They had to bury him in pieces and see where I am today. Because God's grace is sufficient to keep us. Someone in this church must say amen. amen. There we go. To Nikki, may the Lord strengthen you during this difficult time. Uh, always when we met, it was under pleasant circumstances. Uh, at the weddings and wherever. And your visit the church. We thank you so much for that. To those that had such a positive impact. The anti mooie brother. That's a hard platform. Uh, and, uh, husband, and he's uh, a superior at work. Thank you so much for those profound words. Uh, I think that the family really appreciate everyone that's here today. I'm a, I'm a bit of an enigma in my own way. I do things uh, my little way. Uh, I get a little bit rowdy. I scream, I shout, I spit. Uh, so look at your neighbor and say, that's the preacher, that's how he does his thing. So I apologize in advance. If you are offended, that's, that's your baby. Go get some McDonald's or something, pull you off, but that's just how it all. Can someone say, it's okay, Pastor? Can I get a better one? Say, it's okay, Pastor. Okay, all right. I'm going to read to you from the book of Psalms. Uh, David pins down these beautiful lyrical words. And he read up on my Engels prat here, but it's not that I think I'm smart. I prat Engels when it's all prat not Afrikaans. As it was here, but it's... Yes, so I'll, I'll, I'll slut some, some, some English words. Don't leave me hanging, Julian. Watch David writes, he says, Psalms chapter number 20, and we'll, we'll be brief. The Lord hear thee in the day of your trouble. Is anyone here that will say that's a good thing to start with? Is anyone that can lift a hand and say thank you that in the day of my trouble, the Lord will hear me? 
Can I get a more, more hands? Say yes, too. There we go. He says, The Lord hear thee in the day of thy trouble. The name of God, the God of Jacob, will defend me. The God will, of Jacob will send help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. He says, remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt offerings, Selah. Then he says, grant thee according to thine own heart that the Lord will grant you and fulfill the counsel over your life. We will rejoice in the salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know that I, the Lord, will save my anointed. He will hear me from his holy hill, for his saving strength is on his right hand. And David somehow goes one octave higher. He says, for some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we, we, the Evans, the Evans family, the related family, we will trust in the Lord our God. May the Lord add a blessing to his word. Father, we thank you this morning for the ability to share, to say some few words that is reminiscent of Jonah, this beautiful soul that we are saying farewell to. We pray now that you would speak a word in the hearts of the people of God. In Jesus' name. Someone say amen. amen. Okay, for the last time, for the last time, this is really for the last time. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, you are a survivor. Look at the neighbor on the other side and say, I'm a survivor. Yeah, this is a boring church. Tell your neighbor one last time, you are a survivor. Say to them, you are a survivor. Can I hear somebody say that a little bit louder? There we go. It is told that uh, during the horrific events that occurred at 9-11, um, and the over 3,000 people that died uh, when the bombing of the Twin Towers took place. If you have the chance and you are in New York, those are one of the things you have to go and visit, the 9-11 memorial site. I was privileged to go uh, in my inquisitive mind I went to go and learn what 9-11 meant. I am fortunate that I could only see the aftermath of what 9-11 was. It took 700 million US dollars to erect the memorial stone at 9-11. A man by the name of Michael A. Red was given the contract to rebuild the memorial stones at 9-11. It cost $700 million. Michael Arad, in his presentation to the city of New York to obtain the contract, had these words embedded on this huge memorial at 9-11. It was called the reflection of absence. 
what that means in its essence is that what was is no longer present but will forever live in our hearts let me bring it down to some of the people living in Pretoria Jonathan might be gone his absence might be felt but he will never be forgotten the mission statement reads like this it says that we must remember and honor those who died on this horrific day of terrorist attacks we must remember the 11th of September 2001 it goes further to say that we must know that we must remember that what we have lost has added something to our lives you are here today because Jonathan added something to your life even it was just for him to say wow we must recognize then this is on the memorial stone the, the missions memorial stone we must recognize the endurance of those who survived the courage of those who risked their lives to save others and the compassion of all who supported us in our darkest hour it goes on to say that we may remember the deeds recognize the spirit of those that lived those that died that these things must strengthen our resolve to persevere for freedom and inspire us to end hatred ignorance and intolerance so that we must always remember to honor those that passed before us i am a survivor because what you don't see when you go to the memorial site is that somehow in the 9/11 site when the twin towers was bombed everything was destroyed in the process nikki except one tree when they were cleaning out the rubble they were cleaning out whatever was going on uh the metal the the bodies the pieces of bodies that was collected of all the trees that was in that vicinity only one survived the city of new york then dubbed that tree a survivor tree because sometimes life will press on you so hard that it feels like you're going to quit but you must know today that within you is the resolve to get up even from the toughest times that life can present you am i in the right church here this morning somebody's got to say i'm a survivor how many of you know that song sang by destiny's child i am a survivor do you know why beyonce wrote that song beyonce wrote that song because when the group started getting prominent two of the founding members that was with Beyonce in the group left the group and everybody on mainstream radio was saying that Beyonce and Destiny Child will not make it Beyonce went out and recruited two other girls and when those girls walked into the studio the first song they sang was I am a survivor which means that life will hit us with blows but within us is the human tenacity the spirit to arise again because God has put in all of us the ability to survive we understand today that when that mom spoke as a mother about the Jonah about Jonathan struggles we must not think just about the day he died but let's think about the things he had to survive let's think about the days when it was dark let's think about the days when Jonah was found himself in places he never thought he would be let's think about the days when he was crying the days that it was dark over his life 
enough but somehow he made the change I've come to announce today that in surviving in celebrating Jonah's life I want to celebrate a survivor that was in him I want to say that there's a survivor not just in Jonathan but there's a survivor in Nikki there's a survivor in Tyrone there's a survivor in Tyreek there's a survivor in Mama Ann there's a survivor in you is there anybody in the church clap your hands if you know we are talking the truth that there is a survivor in all of us life can hit you hard life can be tougher life can be so tougher that you feel that you will not continue but I've come with good news here at Jonah's funeral where Jonathan is saying to you if I can make it then you can make it I know you might think you're not going to make it is there anybody in this church that can stand and say I am a survivor I am one that after I thought I will not make it I am I'm a survivor look at your neighbor and say I'm a survivor look at your neighbor with a strong will and say I'm a survivor I'm a survivor tell them I'm a survivor I'm a survivor it says that the memorial that that survival tree was moved for treatment but when it revived again they move it to the center space at the 9-11 memorial site. Yeah, listen to what listen to what the senator was saying when they opened the memorial site. He says, this tree, this tree that's laying here, Jonathan Evans, it reminds us of the capacity of the human spirit to survive. Which means that even if we go through difficulty, we have the propensity, we have the potential to survive when others think you are not going to make it and you're going to fall the bible declares even if i fall a righteous man falls seven times but he gets up every time i've come to announce today whether you like it or not that jonathan was a survivor he might have fallen once but he got up again you might fall another time but he got up again you fall another time you get up again that's the message you must remember about your father that what he taught you was the ability to when life hits you, you get up again. Is there anybody that's a witness here today that can say, Pastor, I hear you because I've been knocked down by cancer. I've been knocked down by a divorce. I've been knocked down by life. I've been knocked down by people talking behind my back. But look where I am today because I know that in me there's a perseverance and I am a survivor again i'm gonna ask is there any survivors here i ask you stand and give god a hand clap of praise if you know you are a survivor i am a survivor can we go a little bit further because you are very boring here slap your neighbor high five tell your neighbor you are a survivor come julian you are a survivor tell them you're a survivor Tell them you're a survivor. Tell them you will make it. Tell them you will make it. We've come to celebrate Jonah's life. Can somebody in the church say amen? That we are survivors. The human spirit will triumph. You can push me down once. God has the ability to lift me up. Can I get someone here to say amen? That God has the ability to lift me up. Write me off at your peril. Write me off at your own account. But I'm going to make it, boys. If I could make it when you're six months old, you can make it. You're an exim, somebody makes it. I'll rape you. Someone here say, Amen. Amen. I am a survivor. I am a survivor. I am a survivor. If Jonathan Evans' life means anything today, he is a beacon of a survival tree that we can make it. But yes, 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 my closing words, and then. We're going to go have some chicken <laughs> for lunch. David says, I've learned in order to be a survivor, don't be like others that trust 
in horses and trust in chariots. He says, in order for you to survive, you have to begin to trust in the Lord. I'm waiting for someone here to say that's true, pre preacher. We must learn to trust in the Lord. Money can only carry you thus far, but money cannot carry you all the way. Is there anybody that hear me here this morning? You can rely on your own strength, but your strength uh, can fail. You can rely on a brother and a sister who well, are the worst, uh, because they will disappoint you, and they will drop you at the time of your most, when you need them the most, as I even not going to hunt for, and say that as if I read, uh, when you wait for them to come through for you, yet for Allah help, yet for help, when they moved out of my life God has a way of moving into our lives I'm waiting for someone here that says I'm a witness to that to clap their hands and say I thank God that when they left my life God stepped in I want to say to Nikki my hand I want to say to the brothers and the children, the stepfather, that you must know that when everybody leaves and the hoopla is over and everybody's gone to their different homes, then you and the boys must look at his focus, look at the car, look at the house. Those are the days when you are going to say, my trust is in the Lord because in order for me to survive, I must recognize that the year of home, the year of Bavarmi, the year of Scarum, let me say it in English so that someone here can start clapping their hands. The Lord is my defender. The Lord is my sustainer. The Lord is my keeper. That's what David is saying. That I am a witness today. That Shana, you are a survivor. Stand as we close. Look at your name and say, this was a good preacher. <laughs> Look at the person on the other side and say, oh, don't be jealous. Huh? I can see. I can see in your face. I want you to lift your hands wherever you are. Hold the hand you're holding. Lift the hand up in the presence of the Lord. Lift that hand up in the presence of the Lord. I am a survivor. I need you to say that out loud. I am a survivor. Shout it loud, I am a survivor. Come on, I want you to shout it one more time. Jonathan Evans, love those hands, everybody. We salute you. You are the Mac, the ultimate survivor. When life knocked you down, you did not lay down. You caught up. We thank God for you. Jonathan Evans, we salute you. Jonathan Evans, we honor you. Jonathan Evans, your life might be the reflection of absence, but you will continue to live in the hearts of your wife, your mom, your brothers, your sons, and those that loved you. Jonathan Evans, we salute you as the survivor of survivors. May the Lord bless us. Everybody lift your hands. Father, I pray over this crowd. I pray over this crowd now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The one who died yesterday. The one who uh, that will rise again on the third day. Father, we pray that you will strengthen your people. Strengthen everyone here that's going through their own challenge. Those that want to quit on life. Those that says life has taken its toil on me. Let them not quit. They are survivors. There's a tenacious spirit in them. We invoke that spirit now in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus, our Lord. Jesus, our Savior. Jesus, through the shed blood, saved us. Father, through that we recognize without you we are nothing. Continue to strengthen this family continue to be with them everyone that was connected and related to Jonathan may the Lord bless you may the Lord keep you 
May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And may the Lord be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name. And with a loud shout, everybody shout, Amen. amen. Everybody shout, amen. amen. As you remain standing, we're going to ask the Paul Bearers uh, to please come as we'll take Jonah halfway and then the boys will then take their father to his final resting place where we will then just do our last uh, rites where we will throw flowers on the coffin by the family and then we'll leave after that. So I'm going to call, I'm going to call Veronisha Evans. Uh, Shimon Arons, Diana Evans, Lolly Spate, uh, Corinne McKenna, and Loretta Hendricks. We're going to ask everyone if you would please be patient with us uh, and allow the coffin uh, to go out first, and then the family will follow after the coffin, and then the rest will then follow with us. Would you please uh, follow and observe those and then the Lord bless you. Look at your neighbor for the last time. Tell your neighbor, I'm a survivor, man. Tell your neighbor, you are a survivor. May the Lord bless you. Let me just do my little thing. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking for my scripture. I know it by my heart, but it makes
I definitely fuck what. Would you please gather together, everyone? Paul writes to the church at Corinth, 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. It says, not all those that die are asleep, because we will see one another in the resurrection again. And so today we bid Jonathan Evans farewell. From the earth you came into the earth, you shall return. Go well, Jonathan Evans. I'm a gardener. You run your race well. Go in the peace of God.
Lord bless you. <coughs> the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and the gracious grace of the gift of Jesus remain and be with all of us. And everyone say amen. 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 God bless you. We are going to my left. Uh, refreshments has to be finished. God bless you.